right now we're on the road the bush hog and tow here we're going to go over to one of the last fields we call mine um, there's some grass we're going to mow down I like to make it all look all nice and um, pretty for winter um, so that's what we're doing dad's heading over there Today's probably going to be a little different. Goodness, the sun is bright. Hallelujah. Anyway, um, I think we're going to probably do some corn today again. Um, yeah, last week was pretty busy. Um, got a lot of acres cleaned off. A lot of it was custom work. And so, um, yeah, we're going to probably be working on some of our own corn today, probably. So. We'll see what we get into. what we're doing. We have four of those. Hold everything down then we're going to fold that thing down. So yeah. Keeps us a lot lower so we don't hit power lines and stuff. So a couple videos back um, was one video of when we um, the day we got our corn head, the Drago and uh, you might be wondering uh, how we like it by now um, compared to the John Deere that we had. Um, this one was an, is an eight row, the John Deere was a six row, and um, so far we really like it. It's a little more maintenance, quite a few more grease fittings um, than the John Deere had, but other than that, um, it works really So last year we had some issues with it, um, like the, the deck plates right there so they're spring loaded and the like different size of the stock still open or closed um, yeah according to the size of the stock well last year those were wanting to stick and it was because there was some dirt stuck in where those things are supposed to be able to move around there's some quite a bit of dirt stuck in there and we um, yeah there's we got a lot of dirt out of there and since then um, it's worked really well and we really like the head. So another thing that we really like that you can really put on I think pretty much any corn head is the Devastators right here. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the job it does. Just um, smashes all the stalks down um, and we really really like that. It makes the field look a lot cleaner. It reduces like tire wear and stuff. Um, yeah, we really like it. This second year and 100% would recommend. But that's pretty much the differences in between them. That and yeah, so far, so far we really like them. The John Deere didn't have self-adjusting deck plates. You could hydraulically adjust them. However, you could adjust them from the cab. Anyway, I'm not quite sure how those would have actually worked. But I know you could adjust them from the cab. Um, these you can't, but they're spring-loaded, and that that really that makes it really nice if you have inconsistent like stock size and stuff like that. So so far, we really like it. Um, going to the eight-row, definitely a plus as well. So that's that's pretty much your thoughts on as far as I know. Dad's wrapping up. Uh, bush hogging along there. We have a little more to bush hog, but I think we're going to get Dad started combining here. So, then maybe we'll bush hog a little later today. So.
close one. We about forgot the hopper toppers. Could have been bad business. Just dropped dad off at the farm and um, he's going to take the semi truck over to where we were combining and we're going to go down and uh, do some bush hogging. So dad, we're not quite sure how much of that we're going to combine over there because um, it's pretty wet and some of that was replanted. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's kind of a situation because we planted it late because yeah I can't remember I, I remember we got we planted it pretty late this this spring and um, now it's not one to dry down it did get a frost and um, I mean that that killed it obviously a couple weeks ago and um, so now we're dealing with fairly high moisture corn and we still have a couple nice days of drying ahead of us that could possibly dry some on the stalk but um we're not quite sure uh, what we're gonna do yet with that so dad's gonna get a truck load and we'll probably I don't know take a couple truck loads off um, maybe dry some of that I'm not quite sure how everything's gonna work out yet because it's probably gonna be pretty um, variable in some of the moisture because some of the spots were planted later than some of the other spots um, yeah it's this kind of what it is I guess but I'm not quite sure what we're gonna how everything's gonna turn out here We got all the bush hogging done that we're gonna do. I'm gonna go blow it off real quick. We don't take all this junk home.
so, Dad. Gonna fill that thing one last time. Uh, yeah, I just brought the semi over. Actually, my first time driving the semi truck, so that was exciting. So I got a ways to go, but yeah. So we're gonna bring the header cart over. Might be wondering why we're quitting so early. Today, mom and dad's anniversary, and they're gonna go have a date tonight. So happy 19th anniversary to them. And um, so yeah, that's that's why we're quitting so early. So probably pretty much it for today. And that is a wrap, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Thanks for subscribing, y'all, if you did. And we are out. We'll catch you next time. Alright, guys, so if you watched the video so far, um, Appreciate that. Um, I figured I'd just throw out a little update. Um, it's been a little slow the last while as far as getting videos out. Um, but there was a video that I had tried to post and um, for some reason YouTube didn't like it. They took it off. Um, Jaden had been driving the grain cart. And some of you may have seen it because it was, it was on for a, a little bit. And um, yeah, then they took it off again. So tried twice, didn't work. Anyway, that video was, yeah, pretty much another day of harvest. Jaden was uh, driving the grain cart for the first time. Um, nothing extraordinary happened, I don't think, other than that. Uh, he safely uh, drove it, I guess, and yeah, supposedly that's the reason that YouTube took it off. Um, so yeah, I just figured uh, throw a little update in. Hopefully I can get the video out to you today. And um, thanks for watching.